guys and welcome to part two of my blogger mail unboxing videos. You might have seen part one last Wednesday and I just didn't have time to get through everything and I was still holding on to this massive box um, which I think I mentioned at the end of last week's video so I thought I would go through this box and a couple of other pieces with you in today's video. So this is my blogger mail unboxing slash PO box haul, whatever you want to call it, part two. Two. I'm using natural light to film this video because Charlie's little sister is staying in this room this week um, and I packaged away all my lighting so I hope you guys don't mind the slightly shadowy effect that we've got going on today but apart from that let's get started so I'm going to kick off with this ginormous box um, I always try and do a bit of detective work to figure out who it's from and this one actually says it's from the blogger program and I've seen other bloggers um, getting big deliveries from the blogger program before but I have not had one before so it's gonna be pretty exciting to see what is in here um, so let's use my trusty nail scissors to get this box open Ow! I cut myself Okay, we're in. So, looks like a couple of really big boxes in here, starting with a shoe box. Let's put that to the side first, um, because there's some paperwork in here as well. And then we have another, oh my gosh, ooh, ah, ginormous white box. So I'm gonna put the this box down here, just to save a little bit of space. So I've got a postcard from the Blogger program. We're so happy to have you as part of our gift box campaign. Lovely brands have contributed to this box to give you a glimpse of their brand and for you to share your unboxing with your followers. That's handy that I'm doing it like this. Uh, we love that you're part of our ever-growing blogger community with over 20,000 likewise bloggers. The site allows you to manage all your campaigns in one place with over a thousand brands for you to connect and collaborate with. So that's a little bit of information about the blogger program. Now let's have a little look at what is inside the box. Gosh, so first of all there is this ginormous pink fluffy item. What's this? A love clothing jacket from a brand called Olive, is it? Or at Love Clothing? Not sure. Let's have a little look. Oh my gosh, this is literally the brightest piece of clothing that I will ever have owned. That is very, very bright, my gosh. So if I was a cyclist, this is what I would wear to do my cycling because I'm pretty sure this is fluorescent. And then you've got a khaki, um, khaki lining. I love bright things for like when I'm walking the dogs in the evenings because, you know, it's just too dangerous to wear dull clothing, especially if you live in a city like I do. And then I'm not sure if this is from the same brand. I'm not really a leather jacket person. The only leather jacket that I own is a brown leather jacket. So I'll see if I can rock a black one. This is a brand called Altered Image. Quite punky for me, but you never know. We might be able to rock it. We hope you love your jackets. We have a huge range online at your shores. And then some very kind of gothic looking um, tattoos there. I think I might give these to my niece. Yeah, she's a little bit more gothic than I am. So here we have... Um, something from Wonderluck, and if I remember correctly, I think these guys are 3D printed jewellery. Um, yes, it says on the card that they are 3D printed jewellery. So let's have a little look at what is in here. Oh yeah, I actually selected this one. So this is like a crazy black, I'll do a little close up, um, ring. God knows how they print this 3D, and then it's got two ginormous crystals in it. So that is just incredible, I think the machine has printed that out. I have no idea how they do it. Very clever technology these days, and that's from Wonderluck. Then we have something from House of Fraser. Let's have a look what's in here. So we have a little makeup bag. I'm not sure if this is a brand or if it's House of Fraser own brand, but a nice clear makeup bag, good for traveling with two mini ones inside. That could be a nice little coin purse or traveling makeup bags. This one's a really good size actually for the handbag. So we have a trio of makeup bags from House of Fraser. And then we have a watch. Oh my gosh, iFit. This is an activity tracking watch. Normally I don't like activity watches because they're not very attractive. But actually, that is rather beautiful. Again, I'll do a close-up, but this looks really clever. Lightweight durable body, scratch-resistant glass, adjustable wristband. That looks really, really snazzy. I will let you know how I get on with this on my Snapchat, so keep a lookout for that because this does look really cool definitely the kind of thing i need to sit down and read the instruction manuals for and that's from a brand called ifit and then a few more bits and bobs in the bottom here this is shoe licks what is this 
I think it's to put on the soles of your heels, that is very random. It's kind of like a gold sticker to pimp up the soles of your shoes. Shoelix pimp my heels. Interesting, and it looks like there's a few different versions in there as well, but it looks quite cool on the photo. And then lastly, we have these shoes from a brand called Simi. I believe I actually chose these as well. I'm not sure um, what design I chose. It was a little while ago, so let's have a little look. Oh yeah, so we have some lovely summery um, sandals. They've got a really nice chunky heel and then like a plaited detail around the edges. And then this wraps up your leg, which I find is really nice and comfy, keeps my feet in place. No doubt I'll be featuring these in some upcoming outfit of the day posts, so keep your eye out for these, because I think they'll style really nicely quite a classic design. So thank you Simi. So that's everything that I got from the Blogger Program gift box. I believe I also have some discount codes for these items. So I will leave the links to everything and the discount codes down below so you guys can check them out. Next, moving on to a few more bits that I got from uh, my Doddle box. This I've just seen in the light reflecting through it. That it's from L'Occitane. So let's have a look what is inside. Once again, really nice packaging, which I won't be throwing away. Oh, velvet hands, that's what this says. How interesting. Oh my gosh, it's almonds. That is my favourite scent in the whole world. It just makes me think of macaroons and marzipan. Really nice packaging as well from L'Occitane. It's like light pink and blue, almost like the Ladere shop. Uh, so youthful hand cream with SPF 15. And I think that's a really good idea because your hands are one of the quickest parts of your body to age. So that will be really, really handy. <laughs> I'm just going to put some of this on because... Actually, I washed my hands before the video and I didn't put on any hand cream. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so lovely. It's like a very fresh almond scent. Not too, um, not too overbearing if you don't actually like the fragrance of almonds that much. It's quite subtle. So I really like the packaging of this one and lovely product. I'm just a huge fan of L'Occitane um, or L'Occitane, however you say it. Hand cream, so that's a nice one that I'll pop in my handbag. Then I have a mystery grey package. Um, Holly, oh, I think this is also something that I ordered um, from Amazon. Let me have a little look. Ah, yes, it's a tape dispenser. I swear I opened one of these in the last video. Um, but as I was saying, when I order stuff from ASOS, sometimes 90% of the time there's going to be at least one thing that I need to return and I'm just tired of finickety tying up the bag with bits of sellotape so I thought I'd buy myself a tape dispenser. Uh, next we have a very light box. Um, it says it's from Desiem. I have no idea who that is. Uh, it looks like the kind of shape that an iPhone would come in, but it's definitely too light to be an iPhone, so let's see what's in here. Okay, there's a little postcard that says, we are changing everything. Hi Josie, hope you enjoy using this prismatic primer from Hylamide. You can use it under over foundation. Here's a press release, blah blah blah. Um, and then this is the foundation, Hylamide. Okay, not a foundation, primer. It's kind of like a Pantone uh, pattern on the box. Hyaluronic based blurring surface finish. Oh, that sounds good. Anything blurring is just wonderful for my skin. So let's have a little look. Oh, how do you get into it? Can't figure out how to get into it, but keep looking out on the blog if you want to know my first impressions of this. Then I have another box here. Um, this, oh, it says there's nail varnish inside. So, Barry M Company. Let's have a little look what I've been sent from Barry M. Oh, this looks really cute. It's like a little Easter bundle. That is so adorable. I don't know if I can get it out of the box. I really don't want to ruin it. Hold on. This is so adorable. It's like a little package, very Easter-y with some cute little tartan, not tartan, check, uh, ribbon around it. It says Barry M Easter Bunny and then it's got my name on it as well. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, let's have a little look at what is inside. Oh, this packaging is just too adorable. I love it when brands do this. They just put so much effort in and I just, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, some chocolate themed goodie goodies to satisfy your sweet tooth this Easter. And then they've got a picture of a little bunny on there as well. That is too adorable. Oh my gosh, and it also says follow me on Instagram at Buddy M Bunny. So I guess Barry M have got a bunny on Instagram. And they've sent a little selection ooh, of goodies, all inspired by chocolate. So I guess this is their most chocolatey coloured nail varnish. And it's the shade Mocha, which is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely going to paint my nails in that in a minute. 
Um, and then a lipstick. I just love brownie pinks, as you guys know. And this one is number 168. They've also popped in a brownie kind of chocolate coloured, super soft eye crayon. Now, I absolutely love Barry Am eye, eye crayons. Don't have a brown one, so that's really handy. Then we have, I think this is a black, um, just a classic eye defining liquid eyeliner. And a coal eyeliner, oh no, a lip liner. Very Kylie Jenner and some very dark brown, almost bronzy eye glitter. So lovely for a nice Eastery sparkly weekend. Uh, weekend? Makeup look. Then we have some Easter goodies. There's these tiny little chicks in there, which just remind me of my childhood, like sticking them on the cakes. Got a little flower in there too. A couple of daisies. Oh my God, this is just too cute. And last but not least, a packet of mini eggs, my absolute favorite. So, Thank you, Barry Ann. This is absolutely adorable. Such a lovely little Easter gift. Thank you very much. Okay, well, on to the next bag of bits and bobs now. We've got another lovely blue envelope. This one does not say who it's from. Let's have a little look what's inside here. UPRs must spend so much money on envelopes. I can't believe how fancy all the packaging is for all these send outs, but I just love to hoard them. Oh, so this is from Topshop Beauty, I believe. Yes, introducing Topshop Beauty Denim Nails, that's quite random. Um, Topshop is introducing six new polishes, like the jeans, the collection offers a versatile wardrobe of denim washed hues. Very nice, so then they've sent me a couple of blue toned nail varnishes. I'm not a huge blue nail varnish wearer, more so on my toes, um, but this one I think could be very nice with a tan, and then that one would be quite a good one for the toes. This is Lucas and Lee, named after their jeans. Lee are my favourite jeans. Topshop Lee jeans, just the be best fit in the whole world, so that's a really cool idea from Topshop. Another snazzy envelope, this one, ooh, this one's from Urban Decay. I haven't actually got anything um, from Urban Decay in quite a while, so I wonder if they've launched any new bits and pieces. Let's have a look. Ooh, oh my gosh, I think there's a juice in here. Yes, they've sent a Plenish, oh no, it's not Plenish, it's the same kind of box as Plenish. Botanic Lab Immunity Panax Ginseng Juice. That's nice, I'll put that in the fridge and drink that later. And then a vitamin infused up, very clever. Vitamins, you guys, so clever. Um, complexion prep spray. Redness reducing, pore minimizing and oil absorbing. Sounds wonderful. Final envelope, this one is from, um, I think this one is from Clarins actually. I recognize the address on the return label. Let's have a look what is new from Clarins. Some very colorful serums by the looks of it. So we have three little boxes from Clarins. Booster Energy, Booster Detox and Booster Repair. Let's have a look at the press release because I have no idea what these are. Boosters for your skin. Clarins reinvents the art of skincare and launches three turbocharged formulations um, to offer made to measure beauty solutions in real time. Oh my gosh, this is so clever. So you add these to your favorite face cream, mask or foundation. Wow, that's amazing. So Energy. Um, energizing care for fatigue skin, for late nights. Oh my god, this is so freaking clever! And then the repair one, which is the blue one that's good for weakened skin, um, sunburn, that is genius. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how good this one is. And then the green one is for detox, so that's a pollution or partying or overindulgence. Wow, Clarence, you are such geniuses. So last summer, I don't know if you remember, they made the tanning booster drops, so you add a couple of drops into your moisturizer and it meant you could use your favorite moisturizer but also get a tan. So I guess these are just amazing at adding a few power ingredients to your skincare. I cannot wait to try these. This is such an exciting launch from Clarins. Yay! And lastly, from my PO Box haul, and yes, I carried my Doddle stuff home in Sainsbury's bags because the guys at Doddle must have given me about a million plastic bags in their time. So lastly, I have a box, um, and this is obviously from Fake Bake because they have Fake Bake um, masking tape. Very good branding of you guys. So let's see what goodies I have been sent from Fake Bake. So we have quite a little selection of pieces in here from Fake Bake. Oh my gosh, I think they've sent me an actual coconut. Holy guacamole, that is mental. <laughs> That's crazy, they've sent a coconut with the Fake Bake logo, like, embossed into it. That is so crazy. I don't know how they've done that, but that is actually mental. And I think they've, oh my god. That is crazy, they've sent a coconut opener as well, so I have to chisel through the coconut to get to the coconut milk. That is such a good idea, oh my gosh, how tropical. And also some paper straws, which look like bamboo shoots. This is such a good send out. 
oh my god every time I do it I swear these PRs just think of such amazing things oh yeah okay so this is the product so it's their flawless tanning serum um, with coconut for face and body and I'm sure in the email um, the girl said that it's the first fake tan to include coconut hence the um, hence the coconut so it says beauty and bronzing hybrid luxe gold and bronze glow on all skin tones I'm going to use this right after this video because I'm super pale as you can see um, I haven't tried fake bake in quite a long time so it'll be nice to kind of re um, what's the word remind myself of the brand so if you want to know how I'm getting along with this then follow me on snapchat because I'll be doing some first impressions um, so yeah very excited to try this and for now ladies and gentlemen that is everything once again as it happens every time when I film these videos my room is an absolute bomb site I wish you could see this bedroom honestly it's a tip so I'm gonna get cracking with putting all of these bits and bobs away testing out some new products and I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and looking through my mailbox with me uh, as I said in the last one I think I do often open up a few bits and bobs over my snapchat and I also do first impressions on there so make sure you're following on snapchat if you want to see more of this kind of thing and while you're here I would love it if you would subscribe I think I'm like this close to 14,000 subscribers so make my day if we get to 14 today so hit that little red button if you haven't already. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!